Traditionally, when somebody has an ache or pain in the body, they will get an x-ray, and then if the x-ray does not reveal the problem, they will go on to have an MRI examination. But what we have found is that MRI will often not give the information that we are looking for, and we have found that in many cases, ultrasound is a better choice. The reason ultrasound can be a better choice in the musculoskeletal system is that often MRI cannot really focus in on the area that's most painful. When you do an ultrasound examination, you're interacting with the patient. You can put the ultrasound transducer exactly where the problem is, exactly where it hurts, and you can correlate exactly what you see with what the patient is feeling. Furthermore, the resolution of ultrasound is much higher, meaning that you can see much smaller structures with ultrasound than you can with MRI. MRI can give you sort of a 30,000 foot view of an area, but if you really want that fine detail that may make all the difference in making a diagnosis or not, then ultrasound is the way to go. Ultrasound is also safe. It has lack of ionizing radiation. It's very well tolerated by patients, and in fact, in surveys, patients have shown to be more apt to want to have an ultrasound examination than an MRI, because MRI may not be comfortable in patients who have claustrophobia, and also may be contraindicated in patients who have pacemakers or other metal in their body. These problems do not exist for ultrasound. Another very important consideration in imaging the musculoskeletal system by ultrasound is that there are certain abnormalities that will occur only if a patient does a certain maneuver. For example, a snapping hip, a snapping ankle, some mass that they only feel in one position. And I have an example that I remember very clearly of a man in his 30s who had a very large mass on his knee and he was frustrated because the x-ray didn't show anything. He had had two MRI examinations that showed nothing as well, but he could not understand. He had this big lump on his knee, and it was one that you could see basically from across the room, and he could not understand why it could not be seen with MRI. So I went in to examine him, and I could also see the mass from across the room, and I placed the ultrasound probe down and found the cause of the mass, and then I then had him extend his knee out and the mass popped back into his knee so you could not see it at all. So then the idea occurred to me that an MRI is done with the leg extended, with the knee extended, and that is how he had his MRI examination. So of course they did not see the problem because the problem did not occur with his knee extended, it only occurred with his knee bent. When I had him bend his knee, I actually could feel the mass pop from his knee to under my transducer, my ultrasound transducer, and then I was able to find out that what was popping was a piece of fat that for whatever reason was popping in and out of his knee joint, and this is why it was something that we could only see with ultrasound. He went on to have it removed, and it took all of his symptoms away, and luckily it was not anything cancerous and that was anything dangerous, so we were able to solve the problem. Had we not had ultrasound available for him, he may still have doctors scratching their head trying to figure out what was going on uh, because so many times an orthopedic surgeon will rely on that MRI before they do any surgery and if the MRI is normal they'll tell the patient I'm sorry we can't operate on you I have nothing to operate on the MRI was normal. We see this problem again and again and again in the musculoskeletal system and we see it very commonly uh, I've even had patients who have had surgery for let's say a hip replacement and this hip replacement surgery has not taken away their pain. And I'll say, well, where was the pain? And they'll point, and I'll put the ultrasound down, and I'll say, could you strain for me? And I'll see a hernia come out, and, and I'll push over it and say, is that the pain you've been having? Yes. Was that the pain you were having before the surgery? Yes. Then you may ask yourself, well, didn't this person get a CAT scan or an MRI before they had their hip replacement? And the answer is yes. But again, hernias may not occur at rest either. That may be a condition that may only occur when you strain. And so, literally, I've seen people who have had hip replacement where if we had gotten to them with ultrasound first to see that they in fact had a hernia, they could have had a much simpler hernia operation and saved all the pain, suffering, and cost of a very expensive hip replacement. So that is why in my practice there's no question that for musculoskeletal imaging, I like to promote the idea of ultrasound first and it's improved, I think, the quality of our patient's health 
It's let us made more, make more accurate diagnoses on more people and also guide interventions. When we find a problem, we can actually use ultrasound to guide a needle, to do an injection or what have you, in order to help the patient start to recover from the problem. So it has both a diagnostic and a therapeutic value to it. And that's why I feel that ultrasound first for musculoskeletal is the way to go.